At this point, your accent and new eye should be turned on and well positioned. It is now time to calibrate new eye. Calibration is a process in which new eye adjusts to the eyes of the person using the system. Calibration helps determine where someone is looking on the screen. The more precise the calibration, the smaller the target a person can look at and select, maybe 60 or 84 keys. However, the system can be used with a less precise calibration. But this typically means you will have to start with larger targets, maybe 45, 15, or 8 locations. First, you will see how to perform a calibration with the default calibration settings. Then you will learn about various calibration settings that can be adjusted to meet the needs of the person using NUI. To perform a calibration with the default settings, do the following. With NUI paused, enter the toolbox. Then select Access Method Menu. It is a yellow key on the fourth row. From here, quickly double check positioning by enlarging the track status box. You can see you have good positioning because the eyes are in the center of the eye box and stable. With that, make the track status box small again, and then towards the right of the screen, select Calibrate Now. Five points will be presented. Focus on each point until it automatically moves to the next location. Once all five points are complete, you will get a yellow box that says Calibration Complete. Select OK. Select OK and then go to Home. Choose an age-appropriate target practice to observe the accuracy of your calibration. In this example, you will see an adult target practice in the moving target. Unpause New Eye to begin the target activity. You can see this person is quick and accurate at 4, 8, 15, 15 and 45 locations. With that, you know you have a good calibration and could use a display with at least 45 keys quickly and accurately. If you do not see such accuracy with your first try, you can either start with larger targets or make adjustments to the calibration settings and try to recalibrate. If you decide to make adjustments to the calibration settings, you will need to know what you can adjust. To learn more about these settings, with New Eye paused, enter the toolbox. Select Access Method Menu, then Customize Eye Gaze Settings, and then Calibration Settings. This menu offers a variety of options you can adjust. Stimulus Type allows you to change the image a person will look at during the calibration process. Default is point 0.2, a blue circle with a red dot in the center. You can see a sample of the image in this gray box. If you are working with someone who is attending well to the screen, use the default. If you need something that is more visually interesting, arrow up to Image and then select Change Image. You can then choose an icon from the Icon Dictionary by answering Yes or answer No to use an image stored on the computer or a flash drive. Once you have chosen a stimulus type, you can make it larger or smaller by arrowing up or down under stimulus size. Please note if you make the image larger, your calibration may be less accurate. Active Eye designates which eye or eyes will be recognized during the calibration process. Your options are both, both use left, left only, both use right, and right only. The default setting is to track both eyes at the same time and this is referred to as Smart Binocular Tracking. Select both left or right when both pupils can be seen, but one eye is weaker than the other. Choose the side which you consider to be more controlled. Choose left or right only when one eye or the other is fully obstructed. This is also referred to as monocular tracking. Stimulus speed is how fast the points will move across the screen during the calibration process. Default is set to fast for someone with typical tracking abilities. 
Our eyes normally like to move quickly. Consider this when determining what speed you want to choose, as it is sometimes easier to move through the targets quickly rather than slowly. However, if you feel the user needs more time, you can allow the cursor to move more slowly from point to point during the calibration process. Moving the cursor slowly will allow the user to track the target and can result in a good calibration. Stimulus sound is the sound that plays when a calibration point is completed. Once you hear the sound, the stimulus will move to the next location. You can choose from no sound, a standard beep, or a variety of other sounds. Keyboard step through is used if someone loses attention during the automatic calibration process. Keyboard step through allows you to control when the stimulus advances to the next location. To use keyboard step through, plug a USB keyboard into the device. Select the space bar on the keyboard to advance the image. Calibration points are the number of stimulus points used during calibration. Use arrows to choose 0, 1, 2, 5, or 9. The higher the number of calibration points, the greater the precision of the tracking system. Calibration area is the percent of screen used during calibration. The higher the percentage, the greater the precision of the tracking system. If you would like to change the background color of your calibration screen, use Select Background Color. You should choose a color that best matches the background color of your communication environment. That is, if you have selected a black background for Unity or Essence, you should choose a black background when you calibrate. You can select where you want your eye gaze calibration applied within the communication device. If you would like the eye gaze calibration to be used only in the user area you are in, select Per User Area. If you want it to be used in all six user areas, select Global. Validation is a process that makes sure the calibration obtained from the person is reliable. The process of validation requires the person to look at four additional points on the screen displayed in different locations from the calibration process, and assigns a value to the accuracy of validation. The lower the number, the more reliable the calibration. When validate after calibration is set to yes, the validation process occurs immediately following calibration. You can view the data in text or graphic form. You can look back at the validation results by selecting Show Last Validation Results. You can validate at any time by selecting Validate Now. When initially setting up NUI, common adjustments are made to the stimulus type and the number of calibration points. Children often require a more interesting picture and less calibration points. If visual attention is poor, Try using a zero or one point calibration. This is a quick and easy way to get someone started and get them used to using their eyes for control. It is also recommended that you adjust only one or two things with each calibration. Please know if someone is showing signs of fatigue, take a break or stop for the day and try again later. At times, it takes a few tries to learn what calibration settings a person needs to find the most success. Once you have settled upon your calibration settings, select OK and then Calibrate Now. Once the calibration is complete, select OK three times. And then go to home to try out your new calibration. Thank you for learning how to calibrate your new eye.